You caught me at work. Welcome back to the Kenny Wallace Show, brought to you by Jags, the leader in high-performance aftermarket car parts. So remember to go to jags.com for everything you need for your vehicles. Ross Chastain is the gift <laughs> that keeps giving all of us. We love you, Ross. You know, if Ross Chastain was to walk in my door right now, I'd give him a hug because I truly believe Ross Chastain is, is a great guy. Uh, watermelon man, he brings so much to our sport. You know, he wins at Talladega last year. He gets on the top of his car. He takes out watermelon. Bam! He smashes it. Uh, he goes to Circuit of the Americas, and they're like, hey, Ross, help us promote this race. We're going to give you a watermelon, and you go way up there, and we're going to let you drop some watermelons. Smashing watermelons is a lot of fun when there's no price to be paid. Let's smash some watermelons. Watermelon man. All right, I've made my point. Kenny, get your face a little serious because we're going all in now. <laughs> all right, as you can tell, I raced my whole life and I still race. And, you know, uh, listen, I've been in the game. I always say it. I ran 905 NASCAR races. You don't run those kind of, you don't run that amount of races not knowing, right? So let's start like this. Uh, yesterday, in the uh, race at Darlington, uh, you know, the race is going along, and here we go again. It, it seems like, you know, the perfect storm. It, I, I did one of these things. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, Kyle Larson and Ross Chastain lined up side by side. I looked at my wife, and I said, they're going to wreck. I called it. You know, because you just, you, you feel it. I mean, I've been in these races where you line up, and you're like, uh, this is not a good race. This is not a good heat race. That guy always drives over his head. He's gonna slide up into this guy. I tell you what I think I'm gonna do. When I go into turn one, I'm gonna let off early because those two are gonna wreck and I'll get underneath of them. That's the way drivers think. I called it in my own mind. All right, so as I always say, let, let, let's get at it, all right. I done told you I like Ross Chastain. He's the gift that keeps giving, and we think he's awesome. And he really is. I love him. I love his interviews. You know, he, he just kind of smiling when he gives his interviews. You know, I, I just wanted to, I wanted to squeeze, oh, I was going to squeeze Kyle Larson up, and then I drove a push, and, you know, and so this is a pissing match. We really didn't realize this was a pissing match until, and I got to be honest, I, I got to, hey, Kenny, straighten up. I have to be honest. Charlie Marlowe, who's working the camera, and myself, we're not going to do another Ross Chastain show because it's like, what else am I going to say? I've already done a couple, you know, calm Ross down, make him respect everybody. What's he thinking? He's crazy. He's not Dale Earnhardt Sr. Until he woke up the sleeping giant. Who's the sleeping giant in this movie? It's Mr. H, Rick Hendrick. So after Rick Hendrick gives his post-race interview that we posted right here, uh, I called old Charlie up and said, Charlie, uh, there's a lot more of this story than meets the eye right now. So old Ross and Team Trackhouse uh, and Love Justin, you know, this is not a love fest. It's not that Herman loves everybody. It's just an easy word to use. Justin Marks is a good guy. Pit Bull's a good dude, man. And we're, we're, creating a, we're creating an atmosphere here. We're party zone, we're winning. Some people aren't like that. So not, not every team is an entertainment venue. Not every team is an entertainment venue. So now we clearly see what's going on. Team Trackhouse is an entertainment venue. Got some really good race car drivers. I respect them but they woke up the sleeping giant. All right, Mr. H, Rick Hendrick. All right, let's follow the bouncing ball here now, all right? ECR, 
builds the motors for Ross Chastain and Team Trackhouse. ECR is a conglomerate of Richard Childress Racing and Hendrick Motorsport, all right? So basically Chevrolet combined their efforts, right? ECR builds the motors, okay? And it is, a, it is both teams, it's RCR and Hendrick together. Because you gotta remember, that's Chevrolet. They're racing Ford, they're racing Toyota. So in some way, we become Formula One, right? It, it's, it's, you know, Ford against Toyota, against Chevrolet. So look, their job is to outrun the other automakers and let the chips fall where they may. Okay, Team Trackhouse, we're selling you the motors. So Team Trackhouse and Ross Chastain, they're not self-sufficient. They need somebody, right? Remember, you know, if you're gonna rough people up, well, we don't need anybody, we do it all ourselves. All right, now that I've told you that story, right? So you, you get that, right? Team Trackhouse, Ross Chastain, they need Rick Hendrick. They need Richard Childress because those guys build the motors for Team Trackhouse. Be careful. That's all I'm saying. Just be careful. Now, let me address this one. And, and, and I think this is awesome. Man, he reminds me of Earnhardt. He's, he, he wrecks people and... Hold on. Err, beep. Beep, beep. Let me back up a little bit here, right? That's the, that's the trash truck. That's the construction truck. Back it up because you're getting ready to run over somebody, right? All right. The great Dale Earnhardt Sr., right? He was a seven-time champion. He was the man in black. He did it all. And he got everybody's respect. When you looked in the mirror, it's like, I better move out of the way because... He's not gonna wreck me, but he's gonna bump me out of the way, right? We saw that yesterday in the 75, you know, year celebration. They interviewed Terry Labonte, you know, from all the wrecking that Earnhardt did to Terry at the Bristol race. Remember, Senior comes off at turn four to the checker flag, pops Terry Labonte in the ass, wrecks him, but Terry Labonte says, I'm gonna stay in the gas. Well, they, they come back at, you know, a little bit later in the same racetrack and Earnhardt can't get by Terry Lamonti, so he just wrecks him. Earnhardt gets out of the car and says, I went to rattle his cage. It was the Dale Senior show, but here, here's the deal. Here's the big difference. Here's the difference between Dale Earnhardt Senior and Ross Chastain. I said to you already, if Ross walks in the door, give him a hug, let's go to lunch, want to drive my dirt car. You know, it's like, the Herminator's not, not an A, right? Listen, I criticize myself, all right? I got no problem making fun of myself, right? Hey, Herman, you never won a cup race, but you did win nine Xfinity races. You know, I, I'm here, I'm in the game, right? And here's what I'm gonna say to Ross. Ross, you're not Dale Sr. by a long shot. Dale Sr. paid his dues, wrecked his butt off at Pocono, helicopter took him out of the racetrack in the Bud Moore number 15 car. There's pitchers out there. You know, Earnhardt, Earnhardt paid his dues, right? And when Earnhardt was doing all this, this is one that's really close. When Earnhardt was doing all this, it was with Richard Childress Racing, and guess what? They were self-sufficient. They built all their own motors. They were in complete control. They, they drew a circle up there in Welcome, North Carolina. We don't need anybody. The man in black, the flying aces. Remember the flying aces was the pit crew chocolate? That was a different time. We don't need anybody. Dale Sr., Richard Childress, the flying aces. They could do whatever they wanted to. Now, Team Trackhouse clearly states they're an entertainment venue now, they're gonna start promoting concerts, and this is good. But, when Rick Hendrick come out yesterday with the press conference, I've never seen Rick Hendrick that mad. And listen, if you know Rick Hendrick, he was spitting nails mad, because Rick Hendrick is a man of the Lord, 
and treats everybody fair. And Rick Kendrick, now listen, I told y'all, I'm not media. I'm not a journalist. I'm going to paraphrase here. You know, they'll quote the air quotes. He says, if you hit us, we're going to hit you back. That came from Rick Hendricks. So Rick Hendricks is going to tell all his drivers, wreck that son of a bitch. <laughs> wreck him because he's not going to win a championship. And that's what Rick Hendricks said. Rick Hendricks said, if you hit us, we're going to hit you back. And you're not going to win a championship. Because Rick Hendricks said that Ross has made a line of race car drivers that are mad now. So the Herminator and Charlie Marla, we just started, we decided to do this little wrap-up of the Ross Chastain show and remind everybody that's that's the story right now, right? He he's not he's not Dale Earnhardt Sr. Uh, they don't control their own destiny, even though they think they do because they're buying motors. Build your own motors if you want to wreck everybody, right? Right? If you want, if you want to wreck everybody, see, once again, if Ross, Ross calls me on the phone right now, hey, I love you. It, the, Uncle Rusty taught me this. My big brother, Rusty, oh, pissed me off when he said it to me. Hey, Herm. I'm just trying to help you. Con suggestive criticism. Ooh, I want to flatten my own brother's tires. Hey, Herm, just trying to help you. I'm just giving you suggestive criticism. Don't you hate that part? But Rusty's right. So uh, I like Ross. Great race car driver. Great race car driver. Um, you know, when Ernie Irvin was roughing up the field and he got called out, Ernie stood up. Now, we did a show about this. Ernie Irvin stood up in the driver's meeting at Talladega and looked at all the drivers. Imagine the nerve that Ernie Irvin had to have. Stood up in front of everybody at the driver's meeting and said, I'm sorry, I've been driving too hard. I'm, I'm a little aggressive. So, I believe, all right, let's wrap this up now, right? I painted the picture for you. I told you why he's got to quit wrecking everybody because they don't build their own motors. Somebody else holds. Now listen, contract or not, right? There's This motor here has got three less horsepower. Give that one to Ross Chastain. Forget about the contracts and the agreements. All motors are not equal. Now they're close. This motor got five less horsepower. Give that one to Ross. Hey, uh, Chase Elliott. When, when Ross comes by, hit him in the left rear. Chase Elliott, most popular driver. He's going to hit Ross Elliott, take him out. Hey, listen, it's like the Hatfield and McCoys. Or it's like family. You take, you take one on, you take us all on, right? So, I th <laughs> unfortunately, I think, I think old Ross is getting to where he's, it's one family, but they're taking on a whole a whole pack of, of, of wolves, right? Team Trackhouse taking on a whole pack of wolves. And I already, already explained the entertainment deal. We all get it. Listen, we get it all. And I already told you, Team Trackhouse, they're the gift that keeps giving. Me and Charlie love it. NASCAR loves it. TV loves it. Hell, I was watching Channel 2 here last night in St. Louis. And Ross Chastain, unfortunately... You know, it's one thing to have the fans love you, but it's sad to say you'd rap as a race car driver, you'd you really, deep down, you'd rather have the respect inside the garage area, right? So Ross right now, listen, Ross, one of the greatest drivers we've seen come along in a long time. Ross is a working man. He made it, you know, through the watermelon farm, just like Earnhardt did. You know, Earnhardt, Dale Sr. worked for Punchy Whitaker's Tire Service right there in Concord, North Carolina. Punchy Whitaker, a good friend of mine, he said, Herman, I'd wake up and I'd hear Leonard Skinner and, and Earnhardt live upstairs and I'd hear Earnhardt Sr. put them old cowboy boots on. He'd hear him getting up. Had to get him out of bed. Had to get Dale Earnhardt Sr. out of bed. Maybe that's where Dale Jr. got it, sleeping so late. So, you know, 
Senior lived this whole journey and created the man in black and won championships and won a lot of races. So I, I think that's where we're at right now. Uh, my suggested criticism, <laughs> run the race, run the race, all right? You must first finish to finish first. Listen, I don't know about y'all, but when you go to the payout window, that's a, that's a phrase, it pays like 30th for Ross. Just about every week here lately, all right? Finish it off. Finish the races off. Listen, when I won the Bud 300, come here, Charlie. Right there. I want to tell you a story about that. Okay. When I won that race, Dale Earnhardt Sr. called me. And it's serious now. You can see in my face. Dale Sr. called me. And he said, Herman, way to finish it off. I said, and I said, what do you mean? He said, you made the proper pit stop. You didn't run into anybody. You finished it off. Ross, it's time to finish it off, buddy. You're not finishing anything off. You're wrecking every week. The people that are building your motors, they're gonna start giving you less horsepower. So this is the old Rusty Wallace talk. Senior and Rusty taught me this and the great Dick Trickle. Now I'm gonna tell you what they taught me. It's time to start finishing these races off. Do it right, okay? You, your message has been loud and clear. I can wreck everybody. I'm not afraid of anybody. We're team track house. You push us, we're gonna beat you up back. But you guys only got two cars, right? Daniel Suarez and, you know, Ross. You're taking on an army now. When Mr. H says you're not gonna win a championship, that means you're not gonna win a championship because you're just not messing with Mr. H's four cars, right? We got, well, we got William Byron, Kyle Larson, we got Alex Bowman, and Chase Elliott. Those four cars are gonna run into you. And if that don't work, Mr. H is gonna call Chevrolet up and go, hey, on the down low. Now, it's, it, it's, they're all Chevrolet, I get it. But Mr. H holds bigger cards right now. All right, I think I've made my point. So it, it's just a situation where I'm a nobody, Hey, Wallace, how many races you won in the Cup Series? Well, I run second three times. Pretty good ones, right? All right. Didn't win these trophies because I'm an idiot, right? I've seen the movie. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna talk the talk, you better walk the walk. All right. Hey, Ross, I know you're watching. And if you ain't watching, somebody's gonna tell you. Suggestive criticism. Start finishing it off now. Time, time to race, right? Team Track House is popular now. Love Pitbull music. Love, love, love Justin Marks, great guy. But let's go racing now, okay? Let, let's finish it off. Let, let's go to the payout window now and let's, let's get Justin and Pitbull 100 grand for second place or, the, or 500,000 for the win. And I know you're making 30% and this percentage, ain't, this percentage ain't adding up. All right. Well, that's it, everybody. Remember to like and subscribe right here. And i um, going to go back to work on this dirt car. Me and Jughead, we got some racing to do. All right, everybody. Remember, we are in podcast form. iTunes, Spotify, check us out. Like and subscribe. And until next time. I believe we got some really good drivers over on the other show. The Kenny Conversation. Kenny Conversation got it going on. That's the very serious side of me.